but nah, not quite. It was, uh, it was a little too slow. Just a little too slow. But yo, x man, I love this game. It's so much fun. Like, as far as inputs go, like, again, you know, it's not as... Not a tight a ship as, like, X1 or X2, but it's so much more responsive than, uh... Well, I mean, I guess I shouldn't say responsive, that's not the right word. But I don't lose as many inputs as X3. So, like, when I press my buttons, I generally get what I want. And, yo, the Cobaltian hitting the giveaway command? Yeah, definitely, if you are not already in the giveaway, you want a chance to win a $10 eShop card. Definitely hit uh, exclamation mark giveaway and uh, click on that link. Or, well, since it's already there, you can just click on it in chat. But you get the idea. Now, now, guys, let's not get in the way. And through the door. Don't mind me, guy. Just trying to get through. I normally like try to defeat some of the enemies, but I've come to the realization I'm pretty sure it's faster to just damage boost through them. Because uh, some of those guys take a lot of hits to go through. All right, area two. Easy peasy. Yeah, geez. Freaking dragon horns. Yeah, I don't have to hit that. Don't mind me, just a zero trying to get through. Aw, oh, man, don't squish me. Always bees, man. What is it with bees? Why do they hate me so much? Oh wow, I had some trouble getting in there. Hey yo, it's Iris, Zero's girlfriend. She is uh, also a member of the Rockla Force. Or no, she's not a member of the Rockla Force. She works with the Maverick Hunters. She works alongside Zero. But her brother is in the Rockla Force. And uh, yeah, the Rockla Force are about to get in trouble in a second. But yeah, don't worry. She's okay. I mean, I know she was like on the ground covered in robot bruises, but she'll be okay. He's made out of metal. Some metal, I don't know. Nobody's saying, uh, it'd be safe to say that if I took a shower, Vinx wouldn't be done with X4, right? <laughs> you don't want to miss the giveaway? Yeah, nah, you should be good, man. And yeah, that is Colonel, that is Iris's older brother. I guess they're both robots. But yeah, either way, he's a member of the Ruffle Force. Them being here is suspicious, so we're gonna blame them for the destruction of the city. We tried to take them in for questioning, they wouldn't come in, so now they're double suspicious. Oh, oops, and I forgot to hit split on intro. That wasn't bad. And so yeah, Iris is upset, she doesn't want us to be mad at her brother, but you know, it is what it is. <laughs> Are you really gonna take an hour-long shower? I mean, I hope not. You know, a nurse saying, code successful, I just got Mighty Gunball for 91 cents. Thanks, thanks. You know, not a problem, man. Happy to help. Alright, let's see. Dragoon, where are you at? But yeah, nah, it is about time I've done a giveaway. I'm like, <laughs> way overdue for one. And obviously, this is a lot easier than giving away those amiibos. I don't have to like, get nobody's address, I don't have to mail it to nobody, I don't have to count on Senpai, who we all know was not uh, not the best at that. But yeah, nah. Happy to help. Yeah, I hope you like the game, man. I enjoyed it a lot myself. Yeah, let's be a little careful. Like, this section is not the hardest section in the game, far from it. But I can die if I'm not careful. Oh, 
Speaking of, yeah, I got hit in the wrong spot and so it put those, like, fireballs out of sync with each other. Alright, that's area one, that's good, that's good. <laughs> who pie? Yep, for those of you that do not know who Senpai is, that is uh, my sister Cinnamon, who I started the stream with. We used to do a lot of uh, Mario Maker streams back in the day. But yeah, she has moved on to doing a Smash Brothers tournament. She's a competitive Smash Brothers player. She was recently at a tournament in New York, but uh, she's located uh, in the Virginia area, so she plays a lot of tournaments down here. But she does travel, so she shows up at uh, other tournaments as well. I used to play Smash competitively myself, but I kind of fell out of it. Alright, let's beat Dragoon. I'm not scared. I raged on this boss? Oh yeah, I did! Oh, I was so sad. He had no HP left when I died to him. Do you remember that? Ah, oh, that was the worst. I mean, of course you remember. That's the clip of it right there. But still, Dragoon's stupid, okay? Oh, good RNG? Let's go! You have to be careful not to do dash attacks. They're not optimal. Like, I want to dash to get close to him, but I don't want to actually do a dash attack. Nice, okay, that went really well. That went really well. <laughs> Yo, Glacken with the spoilers. And uh, nobody's saying, our shower sounds like a waste of water. I know, right? I mean, I've never taken like an hour shower, but I'll admit I took some pretty long showers when I didn't have to pay for the water. Like in certain apartments I've lived in, like I didn't have to pay for the water, so I would just take super long hot showers. It was awesome, man. I, and the best part is just like, oh, I don't have to pay for this. <laughs> but like, it comes from like, there was like a year where like, uh, where I lived, like the water would go cold so fast. And he was like, ah, I could only take, like, these really short showers. But nah, man, I, I enjoy a long shower, you know, when it's not freezing cold. Wait, is being in the vehicle really faster? Um, no. Being in the vehicle is not faster. It's, uh, it's protection against bad RNG. Because if I have really bad RNG, he's just going to use attacks that, uh do way more damage than I can survive. Cause like, the way you're supposed to do the fight is you just damage boost through everything and you just kill him faster than he can kill you. But if you get really bad RNG, he'll kill you first. So I use that for safety. The vehicle can't attack half as fast as uh, Zero. And the, the proper name for the vehicle is Right Armor. That's what it's called. Oh, jeez. These eyeballs are in the way! Yeah, I still got my S rank, though. Yo, got the heart upgrade. Now I just need the sub tank. But, like, it's really important I do these parts right. If I go too slow, I can't beat the run. Or, well, I have to redo the level, anyways. No Twitch bits, stay out of the way! Out. Ooh, messed that up big time. That is quite- oh, super big time, dude! Oh my goodness, can I still make it? I don't know if I can still make it. Oh, dude, I don't have time. Switch bits, please. Uh, I messed up so many jumps, dude. Oh, I've messed up so many jumps. I don't know if I'm gonna make it! I don't know if I'm gonna make it! Are we good? Yeah, we're good. Okay, thank goodness. Oh, man. I messed that up so bad. I messed up two of my jumps, dude. That was not pretty. Sounds like a well-designed boss. Well, to be fair, the boss isn't that hard. It's just the speedrun strat. The speedrun strat is to just damage through, so obviously it's gonna go bad. You know, it's the same thing as like any speedrun where, you know, damage boosting is faster. Obviously it's more risky. It, that's not the intended way to beat the boss. You're supposed to use the mech 
in the intended way. You essentially get two life bars to fight him, which makes it uh, pretty easy. Oh, whoops, I hit that too early. Good job, me. I lost a little bit of time there. Not afraid of Cyber Peacock. This is a very easy boss. Like, literally, he can't do anything to me. Yeah, as long as I hit up and triangle before he appears, I will hit him the first frame that his hurtbox is active. And if I do that, he has no tangible hitbox himself. But it doesn't matter if he teleports onto me or not. Yeah, I wish Boomer Kawanga the next one was like that. That would be awesome. Like, he just teleports right on you, and... Nah, it, it deals damage. Alright, that's Cyber Peacock. Easy peasy. Thanks for coming by. Alright, so we gotta do Split Mushroom after this. And yeah, I lost a little bit of time there. Not the fastest stage. I messed up a couple of my jumps. But, oh man, Split Mushroom, that's such a hard stage. I mean, it's not like, really hard, it's mostly the boss fight. That boss fight's ridiculous. I can do it though. I did it just fine yesterday. Glack, I'm saying, from what I had seen, I expected Kuwanger to be a bigger challenge. I mean, like, it depends on when you fight Kuwanger. Like, generally in the speedrun, you fight him earlier. But uh, if you're playing casually, it's a good idea to fight Kuinger after you've beaten Launch Octopus and you have his weakness, and it makes the fight completely trivial. But if you don't have his weakness and you don't have body armor, it's a much harder fight. And alright. Through the first section, not all area one, just like half of it. <laughs> you fought Kuwinger in your first Maverick? Are you serious? You didn't have like the dash boot upgrade? Because you get the boots on Chill Penguin stage. There's no reason to not do Chill Penguin first. That's literally like, even in casual, like complete casual runs, everyone does Chill Penguin first. That's crazy. Oh man, can't climb up the ladder, it's too hard right now. Alright, here we go. Just gotta beat this mini boss and that'll be area one. Didn't do penguin first, yo, that's so crazy! Oh, that's so slow! Not being able to dash the next one, man, I can't I can't deal with it. That hurts me on a personal level. I need to be able to dash. There we go. Easy peasy every time. Nice. That's area one. Casually you do Kuwanger last. Yeah, a lot of people do Kuwanger last. Like, it's generally like Kuwanger or Launch Octopus. It depends on, like, the player. Some people find one more difficult than the other. Alright, I took quite a bit of damage. Anytime I see ice, I think back to Mega Man 1 and I think don't do ice man stage first. Yeah, fair enough. Yeah, in the X games, I generally do the ice stages first. And that just comes from doing Chill Penguin first so many times. And to be fair, on uh, X3, you do get the uh, boot upgrade from Buffalo. Yeah, 
But yeah, here in X4, when I played this casually, I also did, uh, I did Walrus first, which is the Ice Guy, the Ice Maverick in this one. I don't think you get any cool upgrades on this stage, but it's been so long since I've played this game casually, I don't remember where the X armor upgrades are. I know where the boots are. The boots are on a spider stage. Alright, I have most of my health. That's good. This fight's so hard. I also didn't know of some of the armor pieces and never used the Hadouken. Yeah. When I played the game casually, I never used Hadouken either. I didn't know it existed. But yeah, having that Hadouken, man, makes the game so much easier. Ah, jeez. Ah, jeez. Oh my goodness, if not both of them, if they just weren't both doing it at the same time, it would be fine! No, I knew I was gonna die, man. That was so hard to control, because they were both on different, like, things, man. That's the hardest part about that fight. Like, sometimes I can't not take damage. Ah, that's unfortunate. I've been doing so good on Mushroom lately, but... Not this time. Are you serious? He's not dead? Get out of here! Oh my goodness, man. I hate this fight. I hate the split mushroom fight. I hate that fight so much. It's such a stupid fight. Ah. It's just because it's so random, man. But was it so random? But like, this is the order you're supposed to do the fights in for the boss rush. If you're doing it with his weakness, it's so much easier. When you're fighting Split Mushroom with his weakness, like, you just hit him with the electricity, he gets stunned. If there's two of them, he goes into one. Like, it seems pretty obvious the game intends you to fight Split Mushroom with his weakness. So much easier that way. Rest in peace, PB. Ah, we're not that far behind. We're not that far behind. It's still doable. For Crack Trifer saying, how do I win? Yo, if you want a chance to win, you have to hit exclamation mark giveaway. Uh, and then uh, click on the link there, and then you will be able to enter. But, um, yeah. And then you'll have just as much a chance to win as everybody else. Uh, Anura has already won the first uh, eShop card, though. So there's one more I plan on giving away for tonight. So yeah, you just need to be here in the stream, and then you will know when I'm giving it away. And as long as you're here, you will have a chance to win. Yeah, if you are not here, I will not be able to give it to you, and I'll have to choose somebody else. Let's see. Black, I'm saying Kalinger stage took me 30 minutes? Oh, jeez, yeah. <laughs> 30 minutes, that's... It's a hard stage! That is not a stage you want to play without the dash boots. It's really not. Like, I'm just imagining you... Like, no wonder you don't like the vertical sections in Mega Man games. You didn't have the dash boots on. Boomer Kalinger. Like, that stage does not have the best vertical section in a Mega Man game, in my opinion. I think X2 and X3 do it a lot better. But man, doing it without the boots makes it worse than what it actually is, in my opinion. No! Oh, I didn't jump high enough! 
That was not the way to die, man. If I was gonna save time... Actually, no, there's no saving time, there's only losing time. Yeah, no, I apparently did pretty good on this stage in my PV. Well, rest in peace that. Rest in peace PV. Yeah, I wasn't, I wasn't really paying that much attention. I should have been a bit more focused there. Oh well. We we'll just have to do the best we can. Move on from there. There we go, jeez. Oh, I didn't jump high enough. You like the vertical sections of Kuinga besides the elevator? They're actually pretty good. Old Fallen Sigma stage vertical section? Yeah, the... Like, just the straight going up to Sigma. I guess that's more supposed to be, like, a thematic thing. It's not really a level. It's just like, uh, hey, I'm going to fight the final boss. You know, it, it's like a hallway in a Mario game, where there's literally nothing but the red door on the other side. I'm supposed to feel impending doom! Well, I didn't do that very well. Alright, not the best Stingray stage. Not the best Stingray boss fight. Oh, you mean all the Sigma stages? You don't know what they're called? Um, generally they're referred to as just Sigma 1, Sigma 2, Sigma 3. Or by the boss name, like Bow Spider, uh, Ranga Banga, or uh, D-Rex. yeah, most uh, people in the speedrun community call it Sigma 1 through 3. And obviously, depending on the game, yeah, you can't just say Sigma 1. People are like, ah, oh, you mean X1 or X2? You need context. But yeah, let me, let me, like, again, I don't think X1, ah, oh, jeez, I didn't mean it, you say, but yeah, I don't think X1 has, like, the best vertical sections. Like, far from the worst, but they're not as good as X2 or X3, in my opinion, because, like, again, the levels are designed, like, most of them, not the Sigma stages, but most levels are designed with the idea that you may not have the dash group, so it really limits the options of what the level designers could do. But, uh, let's see, Sigma 1. Oh yeah, Sigma 1, the climb to, uh, the climb to Vile. I thought that was pretty cool. Yeah, you have all those platforms in the Jamenders. That part gives, like, casuals, people that have, like, you know, <laughs> haven't really played, uh, a lot of Mega Mans. Like, they generally do really bad in that section. I understand, that, that section beat me up as a kid. But yeah, it actually has ample use of uh, dash boots. Uh, your dash boost, and then also, um. It's a good time to use uh, Charge Rolling Shield or Charge Steam Chameleon. I like that. And then you have, um. The Ladders Before Vial. I mean, it's nothing breathtaking right there, like, it is what it is, it's just a up-right, up-left, up-right kind of thing. That, that section is definitely just filling space right there. But I mean, you know, every game has moments where they're just filling space. He turned me around twice, that was annoying. Thought the elevator was awful? I mean, an elevator is again like one of those things to me that's just taking up time. You know, it's it's more like filler. It's not really it's nothing to really brag about. But yeah, I mean if you like the rest of the Wainer stage, I mean I guess that's cool. I'm not in love with Kuwainer stage, I'm really not. <laughs> I don't need that 
I didn't need to destroy this either. It would have been faster to go through the top. I shouldn't have done that. Alright, give me my dash. There we go. Oh, wow. I went left. I did not mean to do that. There's a spider out of the way, dude. Can we go through zero? Thank you. Alright, time to fight boss. And uh, for Crack Try for saying, somehow I got four entries. Yeah, you can do four entries. Create a Twitter account just to participate. <laughs> and when we know who's won, um, I will let you know towards the end of the stream. So yeah, just as long as you're here, you'll uh, you'll find out. I will just call it out on uh, stream like I did with Inura when he won the one before. I'll just draw a winner at random. Obviously, the more entries you have, the better chance you have of winning. Yo, so far this fight's going pretty good. Ah, jeez. I did not want to get hit by that. Well, not the best. I messed up a little there. Like I'm saying, I mean, there's not like three enemies on one screen in a space where you only have one wall to grab. Oh yeah, you're, so you're talking about the climb before uh, Bow Spider? Yeah, a lot of a lot of people new to the game have a lot of trouble with that spot. Cause like you'll have um, you have the Hoganmers on the right and left sides, and then you have uh, the Jamingers or no, not the Jamingers. It's like the Jamingers cousin. I can't remember the name of that robot. But you have the Jamingers and then the Wall Sliders. So I, yeah, that part, like, there's two walls, but, uh, there's so many enemies in a very, uh, small space. Like, it's not very small, but it's clustered, because you have all the enemies there. There's only so much space you can go because the Hoganmers can shoot their, or throw their, uh, maces, I guess you would call them, the spike balls. Yeah, they throw the spike balls and they can reach quite a good distance. Like him says, I think X games tend to be too enemy heavy in vertical sections when they want it to be more difficult. Well, that's more X1. In X2, there's generally not a lot of enemies in climbing sections, hence like stag stage and uh like pretty much any section where they do the walls that pull in, like on intro and on violin, there's only the one enemy and he's not really there, he's at the top. So you have to do the whole wall, uh, wall climbing segment. In my opinion, that's one of the reasons X2 does it better than uh, X1 does. And then in my opinion, like, again, X3's controls aren't the best, but the way the level design is, it's like a step up over uh, X2. Yeah, it's, it's a lot more varied. They don't use the wall cleaning thing so many times that, like, X2 does. Like, it's a bit more varied. And again, there aren't that many enemies. Like, there are there are a couple of times in X3 where, uh, it can be a little narrow, and there will be, like, walls... Like, there will be enemies on the walls. But I don't think enemies on the walls is necessarily a bad thing. I think that's just part of the game. That's, like, my opinion. Because, <laughs> like, for me, what really makes a Mega Man game is the uh, applicable uses of weapons. Because like without the weapons, it would just be a platformer in my eyes. It would just be a run-of-the-mill platformer. But the fact that you have all these different Maverick weapons, and that you can use them in different ways and different levels, that's what makes it interesting to me. Because like, yeah, like some of the walls can be a little cluttered in X3 in certain sections, but if you have the Tri-Thunder, you just put the Tri-Thunder on and you just go through all of that. And then in uh, X2, pretty much in the same kind of situations as X3, like where those vertical sections have a lot of enemies in them, you just use a jump shot and it clears up everything. I love stuff like that. If they give me, like, real uses for the weapons, that's exciting to me. I really like that. And I think X2 and X3 do that really well. X1 didn't really do that. 
Like, there, there are some moments, like, a lot of the secrets have to do with the weapons, which is cool in its own way, but I, I prefer, for my Mega Man X games, I prefer the design to be more geared towards just options. I don't want to be locked out of things, which is more what X1 is. X1 locks you out of a lot of sections of the game until you have the right weapon, or until you have the right upgrade. Like, every X game does that to a degree, but X1 does it really... It does it pretty, uh... I don't know, it's just very strict. But, uh, the worst, in my opinion, is X5 and X6. Those games, man, they're so mean. No, are you wearing... are you wearing the right boots? Do you have the right helmet piece? Do you have the right weapon? Like, do you have all of these? Because you need all four of these. You don't have all four? Well, then you can't, you can't go here. <laughs> Access denied, Mega Man. It's so mean. It just, like, I understand the idea is replayability. Like, they lock out sections of the game so that you'll replay the levels after you've unlocked the armor. And, uh, X5 and X6 have that as bad as they do because they have multiple armor sets. And so, that's supposed to be the incentive, but, in my opinion, it just makes the levels less interesting. Like I'm saying, I was just kind of going through X1 with Tornado. I don't even know what I was doing in X2. I assume Rush Burner surges with Garbage Shot and X5's uh, ring to stage is definitely a vertical offender. Yo, X5 and X4, the level design takes a huge dip. <laughs> it really does. X1 through 3 are a lot better. Like, oh my goodness. X5's ring to bang to stage. Ugh. Cause like for me, the worst part is just how big everything is. Yo, for crack, you lost your ZX cartridge. Oh no. And you're training to speedrun in Ocarina of Time? Yo, that's awesome. And you're asking if you could befriend a video game character, who would he or she be? Um. Uh. Um. Uh. I don't know. <laughs> I have no idea. Who would I befriend? If I could refer to any video game character, guys, who would it be? I don't know. I'd, I'd point to my Mega Man X and Zero wallpaper, but on my desktop, but you can't see that for obvious reasons. I, I could pull it up, but I, I think we got the point across. Hopefully. Hopefully. Well, I didn't die on the spikes there, but I was a little slow. I was just so scared, so I wasn't dashing where I should have been. Oh, jeez, <laughs> that was close. And bam, got the tank. Easy peasy, every time. Jeez, that was a bad segment. Nope, <laughs> I was gonna try to take the the quick dash through, but I was too slow. Yeah, if you try to take the quick dash when you've uh, messed up that segment right before, you'll die. You will just die, full to death. No, thank you. You feel really ignored? Not anymore? Nah, I got you. And you know, Tensok, you're salty, stupid guardians. Yo, that sounds so cool, though. Ah, oh, I bumped into him. I didn't mean to do that. Yeah, you gotta position just right to get the good hits. Oh, that was it, but I messed up. Uh, still, still a better fight than my average. Really, uh, decent RNG. You know, Glock, I'm saying I was probably just using Buster before I had Tornado. I didn't have it until, like, midway. Got you. There's one thing I regret not doing as often, is using Invincibility. Yeah, yeah, like, um, that's one thing I really like about Mega Man, like, you have so much health. Like, except for X3, man. X3 is brutal. But yeah, the other Mega Man games, like, you can really get hit a lot, and it's not that big a deal. Especially X4, the one I'm playing now. This game is so lenient, dude. Like, it's so nice. Like, out of all the games, I think X4 is the most accessible. Like, X5 is, like, just behind that. Like, X5 has the stupid RNG stuff, which I know not everybody's gonna like, but, like, that game, as far as difficulty goes, X5 is pretty easy. 
Because, like, in X4, you have the two checkpoints per level, which is just so good. I mean, the earlier games do that too, but they're far more strict. And when you game over, you have to restart the whole stage. But X4 is not like that. You do not have to restart the whole stage in X4. And in X5, if you die at the boss, you stay at the boss. In X4, you go back to the uh, checkpoint 2, but only on game over. You can die at the boss and you stay at the boss, but if you game over at boss, you go back to area 2. You know, for crack saying for me it would be red, I would love to get a Charizard, right? <laughs> Yo, that's fair. I can, I can understand that. Yo, I am so much better at Walrus than I used to be. Because I'm able to just skip out one whole floor section where he like slides across the floor. In a casual playthrough, he generally does that twice, but no, we cut that out. You know, Cyclone says X3 seems like the hardest game. Um, as far as like fair design goes, length of game, I think X3 is the hardest. But like looking through a vacuum where you don't consider these factors, I would say X. Seven is the hardest? Yeah, probably X7. I don't know, X6 is really hard. It's a toss-up between those two, but like X X6 and X7 are bad games. Like in X6, there's certain items that if you have those on, you can't beat the game. You have to restart levels. Like if you're in the Sigma stages, you have to replay all of them, unequip what you were wearing, because you can't change your customization unless you quit out. Which is so lame. And X7 is just a terrible game <laughs> in every single way. It's complete garbage. Like, I don't know many people that like X7. Like, there's some weirdos that like X6. I'm not trying to be mean. But, uh, I, I can understand people that like X6 because of, uh... Like, as garbage as a lot of the design is, there's some pretty interesting things that happen. I like the armor sets. The armor sets are pretty cool. But my goodness, man, the game is so bad. Oh, I did not do that correctly. Oh well, let's dash on through. I have got to get better at controlling this thing. Alright. Well, that was a good area one. Not the best, better than my average. <laughs> Burn to the ground? Yo, that game's so bad! It just has so many glitches, it's just so poorly made. Like, I'm pretty sure X7 was made in like a year or something like that. You know, it's being made on PS2, which they never, you know, worked on PS2 before. And not only is it their first PS2 game, it's their first, like, 3D Mega Man X game. I mean, they did a 3D game with Mega Man Legends, and I don't know why they didn't get it. Like, with Mega Man Legends, there's no real platforming in that game, because they realize how difficult 3D platforming is. You know, how they haven't, like, worked out the camera and whatnot. Yeah, no, they, they made it a platformer. A really, really bad platformer. For Crack Try First saying, for me, the only good X games are from 1 through 3. That's fair. I can understand people that feel that way. Like, in my opinion, I do think 1 through 3 have the best level design. Like, I think X4 and X5 really fall behind in that category. But I still like them. I still think they're fun games. Ah, uh, he absorbed that. Let me focus on Storm now for a little bit. He's not giving me the best RNG. Yo, there we go. But, uh, what was I saying? Something- oh yeah, X1 through 3 being, like, the best level design. I like X4 because of, um, like, the attempt at a story. Like, there's an attempt at a story in X4. So, like, I appreciate it. Like, the ideas are good, it's just the implementation's really bad. Um, I like- I just like the gameplay. Like, being able to play as Zero, 
Zero is really fun to play as, in my opinion. I think he has really interesting moves. The fact that, like, um, instead of X, because, like, X gets all these different special weapons. Versus Zero, like, I think he gets just the one weapon, and then all the others are just augmentations of his abilities. I find that really interesting. I enjoy that gameplay. And in X5, it's a lot the same. So, uh, yeah, I like X5 as well. Again, there are some decisions I don't like in the game. I didn't jump. I just didn't jump. Well, that's unfortunate. That is not how I wanted to lose time there. That was very stupid. Ah, jeez, I forgot he threw that so high. Now that guy usually always gets the hit on me. My health is so low, this is not good. Oh, I've never seen him spawn here before. That's interesting. Apparently, if your health is low enough, you will have a dude with a guaranteed drop. I did not know that was a thing. That is something new I have just learned. So yeah, uh, it's stuff like that. It's stuff like that right there. That makes me really like X4 and X5. They, they really try to be accessible. Like, they are not the hardest games. When's Rayman 2? Um, Rayman 2 will probably be after uh, No Woo. I have to do No Woo first. And I think there's something else. Show me what you've got. Alright. Oh, that's it. I've been wondering why I couldn't do weapon cancels. It looks like you can't do a weapon cancel out of a uh, slanted... slanted jump. I didn't realize that's how it works. Oh, jeez. Nice! Woo, that could have been bad. That could have been so bad. I almost died, dude. Hence Doctor says you're actually playing No Woo. There is a like I hate that stage. I think No Woo is the most garbage Mario Maker stage I've ever seen anyone make. The level design is absolute garbage. It's literally made to be bad. I hate that stage. But there's a pretty big donation incentive, so I'm gonna have to say yes. And Vinks, are you doing the raffle in the next 20 minutes? I gotta go make food. Um, no. I will not be doing the raffle in the next 20 minutes. So if you gotta make food, go for it, man. Now's the time to do it. God, jeez. Oh, no, I'm gonna need that health. Oh, man, my HP is so not good. Thinking about it is repulsive? Yeah, it's pretty repulsive. What is Nowu? It's a Mario Maker level that stands for uh, Nowu, No One Will Ever Win. It's a troll level, and um, essentially there's a door hidden somewhere that allows you, that takes you all the way to the end. But the donation incentive is to beat the level okay, I'll do it. without using the dev door. So, it's gonna be bad. I'm told it's possible. I'm told it's possible to do without the dead door. It's definitely filthy, and I don't like it. God, good jump there, Binks. Oh no, jump, jump, jump. Oh, I'm so dead, dude, I'm so dead. Ah, that's why we have E-Tanks. That was- oh man, I made so many mistakes in my movement right there. Not the best. Who's donating how much? Oh, uh, Wolfgang is donating, the incentive is $100. So, I find it hard to say no. Alright, that's Iris. Yeah, it's definitely a troll level. Why do you know who at all? I would not! I would normally not play that level. 
I, I vowed not to, but my vow will be broken. Ah, oh, jeez. Also, grats on murdering your girlfriend. Yo, rest in peace, Iris, man. There's a whole cutscene where she's like, you know, sad that he had to fight. But, uh, we skipped that. We're speedrunning. I ain't got time for all these sentimental feelings. But yeah, she, she was upset that we killed her brother, the, the boss fight right before her. And so, yeah, you know, things happen. Thinks you need some standards. I know it's for money, but it's also no <laughs> Yeah, that's very true. You know, I can literally, potentially, save all of the time and be on PV pace if we get the best RNG, and I don't mess this up. Go give me the best RNG! Alright, looking good, looking good. Top first. Or wait, no, I needed bottom first. I did that backwards. Whoops. Alright, that's not... That's not the best. Alright, I need him to do that a second time. I'm not gonna save as much time as I would have liked. Bottom first? Yes, let's go! Oh, that's not... I don't think that's high enough. Uh, well, I won't find out either way because I messed that up. Ah, jeez, I'm so gonna die. Yeah, now this is gonna be a slow fight, man. RNG wasn't the best. Like, it was good, but it was definitely not the best. Well, either way, we are saving time. Man, my general fight's bad. It's so bad, dude. I mean, to be fair, it is RNG. Like, if he doesn't throw out the hands... If he doesn't use the hands, you can't get the fast kill. Has to throw out the hands. Alright, boss rush time, let's go. The best RNG? Yeah, we didn't get the best RNG, but it was good enough. Good enough. Oh wait, I should fight Dragon first. I jumped over it, geez. Alright, Dragoon, what you got? So yeah, I have a lot more health than the first time I fought Dragoon. So, yeah, I'm gonna do the strat how you should do it in the stage. We're literally just damage boost so and we just keep hitting him. It doesn't matter what he's doing, as long as I'm hitting him, that's all that matters. Oh no, 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 no. I can't get that third slash out though. You mean that third slash interrupts my damage? That was a uh, poor execution of my part. Because literally what I'm doing is I'm doing what's called sword dash canceling. I'm attacking with a sword. It has uh, three attacks. There's a three hit combo. Where, you know, you're just hitting the button three times. The third hit, he does the slash that does multiple hits, but it doesn't all connect. The first and second hit essentially always deal damage, but the third hit actually considers if the boss is in a uh, hit stun or not, but the first two hits don't. So if I'm doing the first or second hit of the uh, sword combo, I can dash, you know, interrupt the combo, and I can use my sword again to interrupt my dash. So if I'm pressing it at the right, uh, right interval, I can do quite a bit of damage very quickly. I don't pretend to be the best at this technique. I'm pretty bad at mashing buttons, but I, I do the best I can. Ah, jeez. That was a slow jump on my part. Alright, phase two. Now, which direction he goes when this phase starts is random. So I'm not the best at dodging it. Oh, jeez, I'm dead, dude. Jeez, man, that was a really bad spider fight. If you lived in a video game world, which one would it be? Uh, I'd probably choose Pokemon for a video game world that I had to live in. 
because uh, Pokemon seems pretty chill. I like chill. Tin Soccer chooses Breath of the Wild. I mean, that's a cool place, but... I want to be the Pokemon Master, man. Dying to Spider? Yeah, I mean, I lost a lot of health on Dragon. That was not the best fight at all. <laughs> but, um... This is what it is. Yeah, this fight's really easy as long as I'm paying attention to his position. Because uh, he can spawn to the left, so I just need to be aware of that. Yeah, so far he hasn't done it. Is he not going to do it? Not going to do it. Because, yeah, I'm always hesitating. Just a slight hesitance. Because I'm not sure if he's going to spawn up into the left. Take that HP, thank you very much. You know, the Hoenn region? Oh, it has to be Kanto. Well, I really like the Kalos region. Kalos is pretty cool. Cyclone saying, if I were to pick a world, I'd want to have Victini as my friend, so Pokemon. Yeah, Pokemon is definitely the world I would choose if I had to. Oh, it, it seems pretty cool. Oh, jeez, three dives? How many dives? Four dives. The world record's 11, guys. Okay, you stopped at four in a row. Yeah, I'm pretty sure the world record, bad RNG, is 11 dives. Which is pretty terrible, man. I feel bad for that speedrunner. Come on, guy. Oh wow, that didn't knock him out? I thought that was it. And yo, Black was saying, alright, I'm gonna go try to have a Rayman run that's significantly less garbage than this morning. Yo, good luck. Yo, when will I do viewer battles in Pokemon? I used to do that. I don't know, I, I don't feel very excited to play Ultra Sun or Ultra Moon. Like... I just played Sun and Moon, and like, they, they were fun games, I enjoyed them. Like, I enjoy how different they are, and how hard they try to, you know, not be so stereotypical. But... I don't know. I still got bored. If I'm not having fun with the game, I just won't play it. Ah, oh, man, I messed that up so bad. There we go, jeez. Cyclone saying, if I had to pick a waifu, and it had to be from that world, I'd pick an older Malo. <laughs> Yo, fair enough. Yo, Misty, man, that is the best Poke Girl. I'm pretty sure everybody already knows. So, like, it, it doesn't even need to be said. Like, we all know. For Crack Track First, I've already trained my Primarina. You know, uh, like, I beat all of, uh, Sun and Moon. I had a competitive team for a time. Um, I think I took off Primarina for whatever the, uh, like, water Tapu was. Yeah, the all-water team. Because that's where I get my kicks, but... Yeah, I was using the Tapu. I was using, um... Who else was I using? Oh yeah, Araquanid. Oh man, Araquanid is such a cool Pokemon, man. So good. I almost died. Yeah, Araquanid, uh, Wishiwashi. Wishiwashi wasn't the best. He was alright. Um, who else was I using? I'm pretty sure I had a skill link Cloyster. Um, what else did I have? Oh yeah, I had a, uh, Pukumuku. Oh man, Pukumuku, dude. 
Kikimuku is not the best Pokemon in the world, but it is a fun Pokemon to use. Like, I've been in some silly situations where I was able, able to win because of Kikimuku. And then, um... Who else? Oh, go Isopod. I like little Isopod, he's pretty good. I'm probably not saying that right. That Pokemon was pretty cool. Oh, I messed that up. He's <laughs> sliding all the way across. I was trying to be careful not to take too much damage though. Oh, I got the double hit though, so that's really good. Nice. Back to insane. By the way, Banks, now that I can import my team, you don't play Sun and Moon? This disappoints me, yo, rip. I'm glad I'm saying I actually was really surprised how fast you got bored of Sun and Moon. Yeah, I, I got bored pretty fast. It probably wouldn't have been... I probably would have played it a bit longer if it wasn't for the fact that, like, it's so hard to stream from 3DS. Like, it's so much effort. There's so many things I have to do, so that added on to you know, how much not fun I ended up having over time. I, I just got bored. That didn't kill him, are you serious? Get out of here! Oh, Andy! Oh my goodness. Storm out, please. Get out. Get out. You felt Sun and Moon was incomplete? There wasn't a lot of in-game content. There, there was some. There was not a lot. And that's Boss Rush. Alright, alright. Looking good. Looking pretty good. We're on PB pace right now. PB pace. That's all because we had a really good general, because we were behind before that. Yeah, Pokemon Sun and Moon were alright. Like, I enjoy the story. Like, you know, up until you beat the game, as far as, like, Pokemon stories go, Sun and Moon is my favorite. But when it came to multiplayer, I don't know. I just kind of fell out of it. Tremble with terror. You are finished. Like, it's been a while since I've played the game, so I don't remember the specifics. But there are definitely things about how it's online connectivity works that I did not like. I'm sure those played a factor and also how fast I got bored of it. Cause yeah, like, I think I would be like trying to play with people and they'd be online but it wouldn't see them. And it's so weird because the PSS system in, uh, in X and Y, it worked perfectly. Like, it worked perfectly fine. So I don't understand why they changed the, uh, networking system or like, you know, how you find players. And it was just so much worse. It was so bad. It was really annoying. I don't know how they managed to mess that up when they already had it working perfectly fine before. Shouldn't have got hit there, but my positioning wasn't the best. Yo, Pain Hunter's in here joining the giveaway. Yo, how's it going, man? You know, it needed National Pokedex? I did not have a National Pokedex. I don't remember that. I do remember the online system not being the best. That I do remember. Hopefully, Ultra Sun and Moon fixes that. Well, like, even if they did, I don't know if I care. Yeah, right now we gotta focus on BB Sigma, so let's do that. Cause yeah, we're on PB pace right now. I want this I want this PB. You know, big head, big head. Yo, know, blue head. I don't mind the blue head. It goes away pretty quick. I don't have to like Alright, not the end, not the end. Good RNG, not the end. Sweet, good RNG, let's go! Yo, we did so much damage, dude. That's real nice. And we're, we keep getting blue! This is interesting, I like this. 
Alright, give me the version that lets me hit him a lot. Yeah, there we go. I took a little bit too much damage there. Blue again! Wow, I've never seen Blue this many times in a row. Interesting. Yeah, either way, this is the end of Sigma Sniper. Alright, bring out the big head! Bring it out! Let's do it, man. I'm ready. I'm ready to win! Ah, oh, you're almost dead, dude! Ah. Oh. Show me your face, you big old fat Sigma face! Yeah, there we go. Alright, almost time, man. It's almost time. Well, it's not a big PB, but it's a new personal best. I'll take it. I don't hit time yet. I hit time when I lose control of the character. It's a little bit of time till now. Let's go, bro. There we go! Yeah, we PB by a minute and two seconds. I'll take that. Yeah, we had uh, we had that good general. We had a good signal fight. Pretty good RNG, man. Pretty good RNG. Yo, and Venom saying, congrats on the PB. Yo, thanks, man. I appreciate it. Oh, that feels good. We did it, guys. We beat X4. Got a new personal best. Feels, feels good. And <laughs> yo, Tim Doctor, get good PB hype. Yo, we did it, man. We got good. Got the PB. Feels, feels nice. And yeah, uh, Dr. Wiley, they're actually, you know, showing the backstory of Zero. So, this is what happened to me. But yeah, this is, uh, I feel bad for him. But we gotta play Mega Man X5. We got one more game to play. That you killed Iris, remember? That's your fault, Zero. Zero. Iris. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright, Mega Man X5. Moving on. So yeah, let's uh, save these splits. I don't want to lose my X4 splits. That's important. And Mega Man X5, we're doing the category All Stages. Let me change my layout for that. And again, give me one sec, I will be right back, and then we will be ready. Alright, so I...